Are you guys ready for a massive back to school haul? I know, it's still summer. However, my kids are going back earlier this year. They have a definitely going in earlier, getting out earlier. So I like to get my shopping done so I have nothing to worry about. We can finish out our summer with a bang. So shopping for three kids is no joke. my name is Vanessa and today I am sharing everything that I got for my three younger children who are in public school for going back to school so we've got backpacks lunch boxes all sorts of school supplies clothes and I already picked up a few extra items for teacher appreciation week because the target dollar spot has you covered and I am gonna share all of that with you guys today so my kids my son Bryce, he is eight years old and he is going into third grade. My daughters, I have twins, Rose and Pearl. They are six, turning seven in November and they are going into first grade. Now I do have an older child. Her name is Paige. She just turned 15. However, she is homeschooled and going into 10th grade. So she stays home. So we do not do like a massive back to school shopping haul for her. We just pick up things over the course of the year that she needs because Pretty much all of her classes are online she has a teacher online so we don't really need to pick up anything extra for her other than like pens pencils notebooks when she runs out so i am focusing on the three younger ones who are attending public school and i got a lot so we're gonna start with the teacher items and target stuff first apples galore in the target dollar spot you guys so i actually got this idea from Kim over at the Wise. If you guys do not follow her channel, she is just brightens my day every single time I watch one of her videos. She is hilarious. I love the comedic relief that she has in all of her videos. So you're definitely gonna wanna follow her. Um, again, I will have her channel linked down below, but she was shopping the Target dollar spot not too long ago, and she was putting the like items together. And I was like, yes, that would make a great just themed gift for your teacher. So I went ahead and picked up, because you guys know the Target dollar spot, they sell out of things very, very quickly. So I grabbed what I could, and obviously this is all Apple themed. So I found this Apple clip folio. It does have a memo pad in it, comes with 30 sheets. I'll show you the, limo, the memo pad real quick. But there you go. It's got the composition book look to the little flap here, and then the big Apple. So that was really, really cute. And then let me see, it was $3. And then of course I went ahead and picked up everything that had the same theme. So this is a travel mug that has the little topper on here. It is ceramic, $3. And then this mason jar made to look like an apple, how cute, $3. A little tin. These items are just great for storage. This was only a dollar. And then it does have a little pail, a little handle if the teacher wanted to hang it somewhere. Socks, how cute. These are size nine to 11 and they were only a dollar. And then I saw these paper tags. So there are eight in here. So we'll be able to use these for several gifts and they each say something different on them for a dollar. So the two in the front says, thanks for helping me grow. Or maybe all of these say the same thing. I'm not sure. I don't want to open them just yet and lose them. And then this side says it takes big hearts to shape little minds. So I thought that was super cute, especially if you're gonna do a themed gift or just to have these over the course of the year and separate it all into different gifts. So next up, I was trying to get as many pencil or ruler themed items, just going with basically the yellow look. However, my dollar spot doesn't have a lot of a variety in this print yet. So I'm really hoping to bulk it up by the time they run out of everything. So I'm gonna continue looking, but for now I found these four items. So this one isn't necessarily a pencil or a ruler, but I did think it went with the color scheme. I thought it was super cute. Again, it is a travel mug and it's just got the black dots and then a yellow line at the bottom. And then I did find the pail with the pencils. Again, you could use this on the desk as storage or hang it. I did find the socks. Oh, I didn't tell you guys the prices. So this was $3. I'm assuming this was one, yes. 
And then adult socks, size 9 to 11, $1. They look like little pencils. I thought that was cute. And then these are gift card holders. So I thought that was really cool. There's six in here. It says you rule. And then on the back here, so you can attach it to a gift as well. And then it's got a little pouch here for you to put the gift card in. So I thought that was super cute. All right, so those are the themed items I picked up for teachers. And then some other miscellaneous items that I got before we get into the actual kid items. Some of these are also from the dollar spot. I got two different kinds of chalkboards. So I thought this one was super, super cute. We do have a few things that we are counting down for. The main one right now being Disney. I actually, if you can see it up above my head, I printed out some for up there. Um, but this would be easier and a little bit more educational because the kids could erase the number, write the new number, counting down, subtracting one by one. So I thought that would be really, really fun. So we would start out with our Disney countdown, but over the course of the school year, we could do different things as well, whether it's holidays or anything else fun that we are looking forward to, birthdays, that kind of thing. So this was in the Target dollar spot and it was $3. And then last year, I purchased a dry erase, like back to school board like this for pictures and for the end of school. And every time I've done that, it was the second time I purchased a dry erase one. And even when I erase it and wash it with warm soapy water, all that good stuff, the marker is still visible. So this year I saw the chalk one and I was like, yes, this is the one that I'm going to get because chalk is really easy to erase. So I got this one and I will be able to hold on to this for as long as it lasts. So hopefully longer than just a year, but it was just $5. So it's got the first day of, and since I have multiple children, I can just change it up as needed. And then the other side does say last day of, same thing, I can just change it up. And then it was just $5. So I thought that was a perfect purchase and fingers crossed it does work better than the dry erase one. And then of course, because I picked up the two chalkboards, I do not have my own pack of chalk. So I went ahead and got myself a pack of chalk as well. All right, so some new items that I picked up for the kids' lunch boxes. I'm actually looking for recyclable items and looking for to stock up on containers that we can reuse and wash rather than sending the kids with extra plastic bags because last year I did use a lot of plastic baggies that the kids just threw away. So I saw these, I thought they were super, super cute. So we're gonna give these a try. Now these are 100% plastic free bags. You cannot heat them up though. It does say on the back, do not heat, and they are recyclable. So it, they're BPA free, 25 are in here, and I don't know if it's just these two. I think it's just these two prints. However, Target had a few different ones to pick from. I just thought these were the cutest. So it includes a self-adhesive strip for sealing, and then it holds sandwiches and snacks. So I got these ones, and then I also found these that I thought would be uh, for my son since those ones are very very girly i don't think he would like me to send him to school with a unicorn bag but i thought i could use these for him so these are reynolds kitchens wax paper sandwich bags with closure stickers so this one has 50 bags in it and then it has 50 stickers in here and i'll show you a close-up of the stickers in a second but this contains 50 percent unbleached paper fibers and are elemental chlorine free 100 percent recycled paperboard so i thought this would be good to try out and then let me see if i can get close enough without that glare but in the middle there there's the stickers that come with it so i thought we would try these out for some sandwiches and then last two things that i got that were just extra for their lunch boxes are lunch notes so i started using lunch notes last year and my son absolutely loved them <laughs> so i picked up a different pack last year so i got a new one this year these are the lunch notes from me it does come with 101 and these are riddles and giggles too because i think i got the riddles and giggles one last year i do still have a little bit left but it does give you a sample page and he just, he really, really enjoyed the ones that I used in his lunchbox last year. So I wanted to get some more. Now, since my girls are going into first grade, they still just, they would have a hard time reading a lot of this. So I did not get that for them. I actually found the lunchbox notes from the Dollar Tree. I picked those up for them. But then I also saw these ones and I thought these were super cute. This is lunchbox notes. It includes 24 cards. It's got 12 ones that already have messages and then 12 in here that you can fill in the message. So here's a little sample of what is in there. So I thought these were super, super cute. And having 
two girls, I did need a little bit extra. This one comes with 101, that's awesome. I don't remember the amount that the Dollar Tree ones come with, but it's nowhere near 100. So I think with the two that I picked up there and this one, and then I can just make my own once I run out, but I thought those were super, super cute. All right, so starting off with school supplies, I actually went ahead and bought a big pack of the glue sticks. So my two girls you're gonna see, they needed eight glue sticks and then my son needed four. So instead of buying separate different ones, I went ahead and went bought a big pack of 28. That way we could keep the leftovers here at the house and they would have extra glue sticks at the house or if by some reason the teacher is asking for extra glue sticks I can always just send in the extra ones so we did go ahead and get the Elmer's the purple ones it goes on purple and it dries clear all right so now we're gonna do my children in order of age so we're gonna do my son Bryce first we're gonna do the school supplies and then we'll get into some of the clothing so my son Bryce this is his backpack and lunchbox for this year I actually already shared these lunch boxes. My husband's been taking his to work and he absolutely loves it. He's not a huge fan of the water bottle, but that is okay because I really just wanted the extra water bottle space. So he's still using it, but he does say he would not like purchase that water bottle if given a chance. So I did want to let you guys know that but we found these at Sam's Club and I shared that in a previous haul. And then for my son's backpack, we actually ordered his online. So uh, a channel here on YouTube. It is Chad Wild Clay. I will have his channel linked down below. My son absolutely loves it. They do a lot of like top secret spy ninja themed videos. They're really, really cute for kids. And he asked if he could get some merchandise from Chad's website. So of course I went online. I ordered a t-shirt for each of my children. They have not come in yet, but those are going to be part of their school clothes. And then of course my son wanted his backpack. So got his backpack hopefully this is really good quality and it lasts we'll see um but it looks really good my son his favorite color is red so it's got the logo on the front there the big part in the middle which all of his school supplies are in here so that's awesome they all fit in here and then it does have this small little pouch in the front so let's go ahead and pull all these school supplies out and show you guys what he has to take for third grade so all of my kids' school supplies came from Walmart and Target. I don't remember what came from what. We kind of just did a massive big shopping day. So I'm just gonna show you guys real quickly what they picked up and then you'll, you'll know that they're either from Target or Walmart. So Bryce has to take three spiral bound wide ruled notebooks into school. So he picked up a plain black one, a Spider-Man themed one, and a Minecraft one. Then he needed a pencil pouch, so he picked up this black one, and he made a comment. He was like, I really like the leather detail, Mom. I was like, okay, son. So he picked up this one. He needs to take in some highlighters, so we got this bonus pack of Bic Brightliner, and we actually picked this one up because at the time, I don't know if it's still available, but there was an Ibotta rebate off of this. Of course, our school does recommend the Ticonderoga pencils. So they have to take 28 in, but they either sell them in 24 or 30. So we just opted to go for the 30 count. So he'll have two extra pencils. Some color pencils. We opted to get the erasable ones. And this is a 24 pack. A 24 pack of crayons. A two pack of pink erasers and then scissors. So he opted for the black and red, of course. He definitely tried to match his school gear. So his list said he needed a half inch binder, a three ring binder, so he picked the black one. And then three folders, and the colors were mandatory. So he needed a green, blue, and red. An extra pack of notebook paper filler, a box of tissues, a pack of dry erase markers and he picked the one that does come with the magnetic little strips on there so you can click it to your whiteboard. Some washable markers and last but not least he needed a five ounce bottle of glue. He picked the clear glue and then like I mentioned he needed four glue sticks. And that is all the school supplies that my son has to take for third grade. All right, next up, my twins. And actually, if you guys have seen my twins, they are completely different. They are fraternal. One is significantly 
taller than the other one. However, my smallest child, Rose, is actually a minute older than Pearl because she was pulled out first. So we are going to do her next. She picked out this JoJo backpack and then she got the teal lunchbox. Again, I go into detail on the lunchboxes in the Sam's Club haul. I will have that linked up above and in the description if you guys want more information on the lunch boxes. But we got this backpack from Walmart and I'm really surprised that Rose picked a Jojo Siwa backpack because it's really my daughter Pearl that is in love with her hair bows. So I think Rose picked this one because it comes with a whole bunch of extra stuff. And if you guys have children that love the things that come with more, you know what I'm talking about. Like they are just drawn to all the extra doodads that come with it. So not only do you get the backpack, you also get, I'm just gonna read it off of here. It says right here, five pieces extra. So a lunch bag, which this one is on the small side. So this will be a backup or if we're going somewhere, they want to carry their own snacks. This would be perfect for them. It comes with a cinch sack, a gadget case, and then a squishy dangle. Now Rose's squishy dangle fell off. She is, she has it, but pearls is still attached to her book bag. So I will show you that when we go over pearls, but Here's the gadget case. Inside it is the cinch sack. Here's the small little lunch bag that comes with it. So her backpack does have a large compartment. And then under this lunch box, there is a small little section right here. I love using this for their snack. In kindergarten, they needed to take in a snack every single day. Um, and I packed them a snack for just in case after school on the bus ride home. They do have kind of a long bus ride and they were hungry. They could pick something out. Um, but all of her school supplies fit in her backpack also, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and pull out everything that Rose picked. So for first grade, her school supply list was one box of tissues, a plastic pencil pouch with no handle. So she picked out this one. And if you guys did not know, my daughter Rose's favorite color is orange. She needed a 28 count of Ticonderoga pencils as well, but of course we just went ahead and picked up the 30 count. So for her dry erase markers, it did suggest getting the fine tip. So these are the ones that she picked out. She needed some blunt tip scissors. So I'm surprised she picked out purple because they did have an orange pair. So first grade requires two boxes of 24 count crayons a two pack of pink erasers, a one inch binder, three ring with pockets, and she picked out a red. The colors were mandatory for her three folders, the blue, yellow, and red. But for her three spiral notebooks, they do get to pick out whatever ones they want. So she picked out this sloth one that says, don't hurry, be happy. And they did need to be wide ruled. And then two, are these Lisa Frank? Yes, they are both Lisa Frank. How cute. Oh my gosh. Was Lisa Frank popular when you guys were in school? It was for me. So she got the unicorn one and the tiger one. And for glue, I can't even fit. My hands are definitely on the smaller side. I cannot fit all eight <laughs> in one hand, but she needed eight glue sticks. And then one, I think it was, yeah, four ounces of glue. So she picked out just the regular glue and that's all of Rose's school supplies. All right, so last set for school supplies, we have my daughter Pearl, and she is definitely my little princess. She loves everything girly. She likes dressing up, she likes doing her hair, she's getting into coloring her fingernails, and of course her favorite color is pink, with purple being a very close second. So she got the pink lunchbox from Sam's, and then she actually picked out her backpack first, and then Rose was like, yep, I like that one, I'm getting it too. So she saw the JoJo backpack and absolutely fell in love with it, and then hers does still have the dangle. Here's the dangle right here. So it's just a little squishy ball. Hear it? <laughs> so that is her backpack, and of course, all of her school supplies fit in here nice and neat as well. So let me show you what she picked out. So her box of tissues, her pencil case, same crayons, two boxes of 24 count. She picked out the black scissors. They definitely surprised me with some of their choices this year. Same exact dry erase markers, two pack of pink erasers, 30 count of the Ticonderoga pencils. This was not a surprise, but her binder is pink. 
same colored folders that they were all needing to get the blue, red, and yellow. And then her notebooks, she picked out the Dolphin Lisa Frank one. The same sloth one as Rose, it says don't hurry, be happy. And then she picked out this llama and cactus one. And last but not least, a glue bottle and eight glue sticks. And that's everything in Pearl's backpack. So as far as school clothes, again, from Target and Walmart, and a few things from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, and we're gonna start with my son Bryce. So from the Dollar Tree, he actually was with me and found some socks that he really wanted. So I let him pick out the three that were his favorite. This is actually a three pack, which I feel like is awesome for a dollar. And these are really good quality for children. I feel like they definitely last long enough. So if you guys are going through socks like crazy, I would definitely get them from the Dollar Tree. But this three pack has pizzas on it for the first pair. The second pair is just a plain black. And then the third pair is striped with some red pops of color on it, which of course my son was all about because he loves red. The second pair, he saw them and he's like, mom, that reminds me of McDonald's. So we've got the burgers and then we've got the red, yellow, and white stripes. Now that was only a two pack. This is back to being another three pack. This one is game themed. So it says, it has like a random score right here and then it says game over and it has some different prints on there. The middle pair is just white and then the third pair is black and then with some bright green stripes on it. So that's it from the Dollar Tree. All right, so my son picked up this shirt. He was like, this would be perfect for picture day. And I was like, okay. So he got this collared shirt. It does feel like a dry fit material. Doesn't say anything like that, but he is size eight to 10. And then it is just white on the back. So my son loves to be very comfortable on the bottom. So even for picture day and he picked out like a nicer shirt, he was like, these are the pants that I wanna wear with it. So they are just like little joggers. They are a little bit long on him. He's like in between the pant sizes. So sixes are, too small, but eights are a little bit too big. So we do have to roll them up a little bit, but he picked out these. They do have a pocket and they are just drawstring shorts, easy to wipe on the outside it feels like, and then they are a little bit on the softer side for the inside. You guys are gonna see all of his like shirts and shorts. This is definitely his style. He like he does not like jeans. He likes the athletic type shorts. So we did get him a pair of red shorts with the little heather gray line down the side and the flexible drawstring. Then he picked out this shirt, just orange stripes with the heather gray background. It does have a pocket in the front. And then this he actually picked out to go together. So again, the same athletic type, really sh comfortable shorts, no type of jean material. He's just anti jeans. So these are blue, however, it does have a heather detail. You can see all the black and gray going through it. These do have pockets as well, and of course drawstring comfort is key for him. And then he really liked this t-shirt to go with those. So like a gaming type t-shirt, it's got the headphones on there with the little mic and the plug. So he picked that out, just plain gray on the back. And what kid isn't into Fortnite right now, right? So. He got the, does it say no drama llama? No, it says jackpot loot llama on it. So they did not have a medium, which is what size he is, 8'10", in this shirt, but he really, really wanted it. And this is a large. So it is definitely long on him, but again, it's fine. It just means it'll last longer, right? He'll be able to wear it longer. So it's got the llama on the front and then the back is just black. And then I let my kids all pick out a jacket as well. They definitely have grown. Their jackets last year do not fit anymore. Um, I ordered pearls online. I couldn't find anything for Rose. She has not picked one yet, so she doesn't have a jacket. But Bryce picked out to go with his llama shirt, a Fortnite jacket. And actually, let me go ahead and zip it up real quick because it's pretty cool. So this one was from Target and it is called a cosplay hoodie. Now I did tell him he can't be walking around school like this. He probably will get in trouble, but for when he's at home or anything like that, this jacket zips all the way up and it looks like a mask. And of course it is the llama. So there's that, it is a hoodie, but at school 
he can wear it like this and it's still the Fortnite theme. So it's got the Loot Llama colors on it. It does have pockets and he just really, really <laughs> loved this jacket. So that is everything clothes wise for Bryce. Now let me get Rose's out. All right, so for Rose, she picked out this shirt. At Walmart, they're having a ton of clothes on clearance right now, so she actually got a bunch of this from Walmart. So this is one of them she got from Walmart. And it says mermaids, love, and seashells. And then she actually picked out these pants to go with it. So they are just purple, but at the bottom, they are cinched and they have little itty bitty rhinestones on them. So she picked these out to go together and then that was not on clearance, I don't think, but this outfit was on clearance. She picked this out. It's just got a ice cream scoop or ice cream cone and sprinkles on it and it was $3 and to go with it, she got the colorful skirt. So it does have the shorts on the inside. Um, I do require my girls when they wear skirts or dresses to school, they do have to wear shorts under them. So I really love when I can find the skirts. And if this was on clearance as well, it doesn't have the price on here, but it was only $4 and 95 cents to begin with or 97 cents. So she got those to get, go together. And then this one was actually on clearance at Target, but I don't know the clearance price. And it is just a heathered dress it does have this really pretty detail on the pockets and then the sleeves are very very fluttery and then dress from walmart is this space themed dress and it does have unicorns on it so she got that and last but not least from target they have a new Descendants line out, which is a Disney Channel show or movie, and my girls absolutely love it. They're actually coming out with number three in the very beginning of August, so just a few more weeks. My girls are really excited. So she picked out the Mal dress, which is one of the characters in the movie, and it is a hooded dress, which is really, really nice. It's got some studs on here. Like she was super excited to find it. This zipper, which has material behind it. So it's not like you're seeing her skin, but she absolutely loved it. And they actually play dress up in this. You're gonna see when I show you pearl stuff, she got a different character so they can wear it and play together. But she's really excited for this dress. But that's everything for Rose. And now let me show you Pearl. So for Pearl, we'll start with the Descendants dress since that's what I just talked about. So this is supposed to represent the Uma character, which is sort of like the bad girl in the movie. So <laughs> she picked out this one. Now they do have an Evie dress as well. That is another main character, just to let you guys know. So this is the one that Pearl picked out. And one of the clearance finds, again, Pearl is my girly girl. We found this skirt on clearance at Target. And this one was originally 20, marked down to 14. So she was really excited to find this. Walmart clearance, she wanted this shirt with the rainbows and sprinkles on it. It was only $3 and it says, I'm the future. And to go with it, it did have a matching skirt. Again, a skirt with shorts on the inside. She picked the same unicorn space theme dress from Walmart that Rose did. Also, she really liked the same purple legging. So let me know if you guys have twins. Do they like to dress the same? I used to when they were babies just because it made it easy to shop for them. I could just buy two of the same outfit, hang it in the closet and get them dressed in the morning. But as soon as they were able to really start dressing themselves, I let them pick out what they wanted to wear and they definitely did not match a lot. But now that they're getting a little older and they're in school, they love to match. They like to go to school matching and all the kids comment. So they're really starting to pick out more pieces together, but she picked out the same purple leggings with the rhinestones and the little cinch. However, she picked out a different top to go with it. And the one she picked out is this one with the fluttery sleeves, really, really pretty. And it says mermaids and you pick it up and it says shallow under it. So that was her outfit. All right, so those are all the clothes for Rose and Pearl. However, at the Dollar Tree, we did pick up a few accessories. All right, so first up, we actually got a few things from Walmart. And like I mentioned, the girls, not just Pearl, definitely more Pearl than Rose, but they are both 
getting a little bit more excited about doing their hair. Well, <laughs> they brush their hair every day, but they just wanted to leave it alone and down for the longest time. And now they're starting to really get into more hair accessories and things like that and jewelry. So I did let them pick out something a little fun, maybe for the first day of school or even picture day. I don't know about these chokers. We'll see um, how they look on them, but these are only $4.88 each. So I don't remember which one picked out which. They're going to have to tell me. I kind of want to go towards Rose picked out this one because of the roses and Pearl wanted to look more like Uma. She wanted to wear this with her Uma dress. So this one has the headband with the roses on it and the little cat ears. That's definitely very popular right now. And then it does come with a little choker. And then this one is just black with rhinestones. So it's got again, the little cat ear and then the choker. What I also let them do is for kindergarten, we had the girls in the same class. It was their first time really away from home for a long period of time. If they were ever babysat or spent the night, it was always with family. So this is really the first time that somebody outside of the family spent a lot of time with them and they were around a ton of children. And my daughter Rose is definitely, she takes after me. She is very shy in public unless I know you, unless she knows you. Then she is a little bit more out of her comfort zone. But I knew it was gonna be a very hard transition for her, so we had them together in kindergarten. However, now she knows what school is, she's used to the curriculum and the day-to-day -day schedule, so they are being separated from here on out until they're in like high school if they happen to have the same classes. But as far as the rest of elementary school, they will be in separate classes. I really do feel like this was a hard decision, like a really hard decision, but I do feel like in the long run, it's gonna be better for my daughter Rose. So what we, long story for why I bought the friendship necklace. So what I decided to do is Rose is a little nervous still. She knows she's gonna be in a separate class and she is very, very shy about that. And she's still like, why, why, why? So one thing I did to maybe help a little bit is I let them pick out a friendship necklace. So I told Rose, you could wear this necklace every single day and know that Pearl has the other one on and you guys are still gonna see each other several times throughout the day. So they were really excited about this. So this is the one that they picked. This was $4.88 from Walmart as well. And if you guys did not know what friendship necklaces are, it's when they have like three and then the two one where it's the same exact necklace, but when they're together, they do come together to create one. So they picked out a heart, but they have a whole bunch of different kinds. So I thought that was super cute and they really, really love the idea that even though they're gonna be separated, they still have a little piece um, that you know goes together all day, every day. All right, so the rest is from the Dollar Tree and I love going to the Dollar Tree for hair items. They always are coming out with new ones and like I've mentioned like three times now, because I love to repeat myself apparently in this video, is my girls are really getting into the hair accessories. So I picked up a ton. I got this headband and it's just white. It's very similar to the black one that Pearl or one of them picked up. It's got the little gemstones in it. And then this one is a unicorn. And this is a two pack, which is awesome. There's a purple one, there's a blue one. And let me go ahead and take this off so you can see what they look like. So here's the little unicorn headbands. Now those are very, very thin. So I really don't expect those to last long. Hopefully they do, but they might not. And then I got a bunch of bows. So one scrunchie for a ponytail and it's got the, you know, multicolored mermaid looking colors on it. And then the rest are all bows. And I think the majority of them are from the Scunsy brand. And then one of them is the basic solutions. So here's the basic solutions. It's got the little mermaid scales on there, very glittery, very pretty. And then the rest of them are the name brand from the Dollar Tree. So I got this one, which is very, very shiny and iridescent. This one that reminds me of a mermaid, it's like little shiny ovals on it. This one is the same exact pattern. It's just all white and glittery. So it's got, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got the little ovals all over it. And then this one is just rainbow colors and shiny. So that is it. That is everything that I picked up for back to school. The only thing that I haven't made a decision on is shoes yet. I really need to, I haven't sat down with my kids and gone through their shoes. They've been wearing flip flops all summer and water shoes. So I need to check their tennis shoes and their closed toed shoes for school. 
but um, if I buy them anything else, maybe I'll post a picture on Instagram or something like that, or you guys will just see them in future videos somewhere. So if you guys stuck around to the end, y'all are awesome and I have a little surprise. All right, so typically I do, I have in the past, the past two years, I've done a big back to school giveaway where I've purchased a backpack and school supplies and we've mailed them out. However, this year I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted y'all to be able to pick out your own school supplies because if I got a bunch of girl stuff and you had a son, then you wouldn't really wanna enter the giveaway and you wouldn't really get anything from me. So this is my thank you that I do every single year for y'all, for following me, for supporting my channel and all the nice comments you guys always leave me. So this year, instead of doing one winner, I'm actually gonna do four and I'm going to do four Visa gift cards for $50 each. Each person, each out of the four, will get a $50 gift card. It'll be Visa. But I'm also going to give you guys some free meals. So I've been using EveryPlate, and you guys have been using EveryPlate, and you've been using my link, which gives you money off, and it also puts a little bit of credit into my account. I don't get paid cash. I have to use that credit towards food. However, I have so much credit that it's going to take me forever to go through it. So I want to give back to y'all and for the four winners, you guys are going to get, I forget how every plate does it, but I'll have it written out down below in the description. I think you guys get three free meals that feeds two. That's the links that I have to hand out. So four winners, each winner will get a $50 Visa gift card and each winner will get some free meals from every plate just to kickstart your back to school season. So this giveaway is going to go on for two weeks. I will announce the winner on my community tab. So the rules are you need to be subscribed. Plus, if you don't wanna miss the winner announcement, hit that bell and make sure you check my community tab on July 31st. So I'm going to be posting at the end of the day, no later than 10 p.m. my time, which is Central Standard. So make sure you're checking because I'm only going to wait about 24 hours. So by the morning of August 2nd, if I have not received confirmation from the four winners, I will pick more, however many did not contact me because I don't want to wait too close to school. I wanna get the gift card out and the free meal so you guys can use that first back to school shopping and get your first week of school, get some meals under your belt so you don't feel all rushed. So all you have to do to enter is leave a comment down below on the ages of your children or what grades they're going into or both. Whatever you guys wanna do, that's all you have to comment. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some ideas for back to school. You guys saw what my school requires for school supplies and how we did our shopping at Walmart and Target. So again, thank you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. You have to anyway if you wanna be entered to win the giveaway and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.